Doesn't this look like a cat's eye? It kind of does, yeah. It reminds me of the Eye of Sauron from uh, Two Towers. Yeah, Lord of the Rings, the Twin Towers. I love that movie. Yeah, the Twin Towers. So yeah, we have to go to Mistwood Outskirts. I actually just... I randomly scrolled over it out of all of them. Wait, really? <laughs> I didn't know it was there. Nice. So now from here we have to head northeast until you see a large crumbling ruin that creates a partial bridge. I think it's that. Okay. Do you want to do it? Um, As you approach, you'll be able to hear someone ask if you'd like to help the great Kenneth Height. Oh, I ran by this guy. Make your way to the top. The great Kenneth Height. You want to do it? (laughs) Sure. Oh, so you have to make sure no enemies follow you because the enemies can attack Kenneth Height and they can kill him. And once he's dead, then he's dead. Not Kenneth Height, please! Kenneth Height. Sounds like a really shitty Elden Ring uh, amusement park. I know, Kenneth It's like where you go when you can't get to, like, uh, Limgrave World or, like... Right. Is anybody there? Hello, oh, is this anybody is there? Kenneth Heights. Interested in rescuing the great Where is he? He must be around here, right? Oh, there, there he is. is. There he is. Get off, get off. Get off to him. Oh, Hertry. Grant me sucker. Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... That's very kind, but, um... No. No, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, young tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool and plum mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. Hmm? What's this kind, sir? Remarkable. The Knight Commander dead. Already? Well, <laughs> a blessing if ever I chanced upon one. Fine work, I say. Fine work indeed. I doubt that it was your intention, but the deed is done, and I commend you. Now, this is your reward. Go on. It's yours, for the keeping. Right then, time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Earth Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Vulgar shall not be left behind, under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask, would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. Right then. Time. I have much to do. Okay, okay so he's going to head to the fort. Make sure you do not hit him, because I think we'd one hit kill him. Yeah. <clears throat> so now let's head to Fort Height. Which is that. There's Fort Height. So we had already cleared Fort Height <laughs> on accident, basically. Yeah. Well, that's true, actually. I forgot you can do this. Okay. Well, we reached a true Kenneth Height on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at maximum height! <laughs> <laughs> He's a very uh, interesting character. He's a yeah. deathbed companion, some would say. I mean, he should be my deathbed companion. 
<clears throat> I really do think the deathbed companion stuff is supposed to be sex. I think it is too. I think it's just like what you see is an allegory for them actually banging. Yeah. So like, do you think that when we went, I, I'm actually asking you this and I'm going to look up on Reddit and see what people think. I hate Reddit. I like the Soulsborne community on Reddit. They're actually nice. They actually talk about the lore. Are they actually? Yeah, they're not a bunch of dick measurers who okay. are like, I beat it without my cock out, so like, therefore, like... Without my cock. <laughs> therefore, I beat it and you didn't. It's like, <laughs> I don't see much of that there. I'm sure there is, oh, but like, crap. for the most part, they're nice. But, okay. uh... I forgot we can't have enemies up here, because they can No, kill they're them. about to reach maximum Kenneth Heights, and we gotta stop that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, they're pretty cool, so... I don't say stuff there, but I read it. Okay. Um, but anyway, I want to see what some of like the fans think, but personally, I actually think that from all the things that are said, and also from literally the deathbed panties and stuff, that when we went and found Fia, mm -hmm. the implication is we slept with her in front of Godwin's body. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and I think the implication also is that she wants to sleep with Godwin. Which she does. Because she wants a baby with him. Right. Ah, you, is it? Uh, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my foot. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste. And not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology, but now I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Some people think it's not sex. Some people think... Julie, you can cut back in here. Some people think that it's just absorbing the life force of someone. Through sex. <laughs> well, through laying with them. That's possible, but to me it seems like it's like sex. Because literally she's going to bear Godwin's child. Yeah. It's possible it's some other way. Well, she, I, could, she could bear the child asexually. I guess... I don't know, I just think that what we're shown in the game is not the exact thing that's happening. Right. So they don't show sex. But, um, actually, someone pointed this out on Reddit, that in the opening scene, it depicts her naked, sharing a bed with a corpse. That's her. Ew. Supposedly. Where's... Oh, oh, in the opening scene. Yeah, the opening montage. So did she, like, kill that person? I don't know if she killed them, but... Um, she says that uh, it's the purpose of her being to basically uh, receive the warmth and lifely vigor from a number of champions and then lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. Huh. Which to me means that she's trying to reincarnate Godwin or his offspring through her. Yeah. And that's kind of her thing. I don't know. That's... Very open-ended, but also interesting to me. And weird. Very weird. It is very weird. Oh, hey, it's Godric the Shafted. So, supposedly... He is supposed to be here. Well, I know there's that guy stomping on the corpse. Is he still here, like, a million years later? Oh, wow. Now, I suppose I'm free. I can do whatever takes my fancy. <laughs> Can I, mate? Does he go somewhere? So, what's this guy's name? Uh... Maybe we should buy something from him just to make him happy. Okay. Let's get the co-op stuff from him. Those gold things up there. These? Yeah. Those are helpful to us anyway. Okay. Nafoli must not have been given the Saluvis potion. We didn't do that, right? Right, we did not. Nafali Lu must be given the Stormhawk Dean Ash, which we did that. Uh -huh. uh, Fort Height must have been cleared out and Kenneth Height's dialogue exhausted, which I did. And it says Morgoth must be defeated and the area must be reloaded after his demise. So did we not reload Morgoth's area? Uh, I thought Morgoth was in here. Like, go forward. Like, uh... No, this was, this was Margit. 
Oh. So, where is Morgoth, then? By the Elden Ring. By the Erd Tree. Go up to the Erd Tree. Um, go to... Go to the Elden Throne. Okay. Oh, was Morgoth that guy that... You, we killed and then went behind him to get down to the yeah. frenzied flame thing. Don't go too far here, but yeah, um, there's supposed to be, look, those branches up there. Don't go up there. This is where Morgoth died. That's him. Okay. So I'm unsure now what to do. Because I'm looking at this too. Yeah. Once you've defeated Godric, you can return to the boss room to find Gostok stamping on what remains of the boss. Um, if you decide to open the main gate for his mercantile services, you'll find that his shop is no longer available. He has one more role in both Nephili and Kenneth Height's storylines, though if you decide to kill him, his absence won't affect it. Once the following requirements have been met, Gostok, along with Nephili and Kenneth, will move to the throne room in Stormville Castle. Given the Stormhawk King to Nephili, spoken to Kenneth Hyda as Fort and Limgrave, the boss Morgoth has been defeated. Yeah. So yeah, we defeated him. And we did the other ones, right? Yes, yeah, so... So he should be moving, but he's here. Why don't you go talk to Nephili again? See if anything changed there. And I'm gonna look up this because yeah both him and Nephili are supposed to have moved to Stormvale Castle so I'm just kind of unsure as to why they hadn't because we met all the conditions yeah because she's still here if you have completed all prerequisites and they aren't going to the throne room first go to Godric's site of grace and see if Gostok is still there we did that he was if he is, check the Stormville map. Gostok's map location may still be at the Stormville main gate. If he is, travel there. He won't be there when you look, but when you return to Godric's grace site, all NPCs will have reset. So I have to go to the... Main gate. There? Yeah. But I don't think that... His location didn't show up there for us. Okay, I'm at the main gate. Oh, there's some stuff. So there. now he's still at. Go to Godric the Grafted. Oh, now he's gone. He is. Yeah. Well, let's let's look here. Let's. So uh, and the NPC's gone too from there. So let's look around here real quick. So supposedly they're in there. Well, let's go to the throne room then interesting so is that like one of those glitches yeah some people said this fix didn't even work oh. for them so let's see what's going on here oh there's Gostak in the back ah nice to see you after so long safe and sound I take it yes good ah quite I have indeed selected a new ruler Lady Nefeli is strong and just Worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. Just don't hit him on accident. I'm really trying not to. No, what are you doing? Just hit triangle. Just hit triangle. For the time being, <laughs> I share commit which time. Okay, that was his. Is... I hope it is. Okay. It's been some time. I told father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm. To drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady. 
but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm, but your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. I will remain to set your guidance okay. surely lie elsewhere. So basically, she said she'll work with us if we become the Elden Horde. Yeah. So what's the deal now with Gostock over here? Ah, haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom was worth squat. B besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. Still, I have the lady's trust, so I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. Well, he seems like he's become a little bit of a better person. Yeah. So this is where we can buy these. There's Ancient dragon smithing stones. Yeah. Should we just get it? Might as well. Feels like they're not easy to come by. We Let's also get those silver. Because we need Might those well. eventually. Yeah. That seems to be about it for what he's got, unless that tunic down there is anything interesting. Bandit garb? No. No. Alright. Not really. So, okay. wow, this is three NPCs who, at least as of right now, have a happy ending, and I feel like this is not from <laughs> software. Who made this? That is unheard of. <laughs> who made this quest line? <laughs> There was like somebody else who hacked into the game's files. They were like, it's we too damn someone, depressing. We want someone to have a happy ending. Please. John from Software is like, no! Yeah, they're holding Stop him down. It. They're just holding him down. Um, so there's another there's another quest I knew about. Okay. <clears throat> what? I like how we finished three. It's like, all right, next one. Well, it's we like also have to go to these and do the... Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Those uh, souls or whatever, but... Um, there is this guy named the Noble Gold Mask. Oh yeah, I remember we that need guy. To do his quest. So Gosh. I had some questions I, I thought of throughout the week here about this game. No, just about anything. Okay, well why don't you look there are up questions for the uh, let's play here? Yeah, you look up that Noble Gold Mask while you ask me. Okay, I'm uh, I'm looking for him. He should have been around here. I thought he was on this bridge. Maybe he moved. Maybe. <sighs> it's probably like, you talked to Nephili, so therefore Noble Goldmask killed himself. <laughs> so he just ran. Not a happy ending. Um, um, Goldmask, Altus right? Plateau. Atlas, isn't it? Oh no, Altus. Uh, next to, like, the go up all the way to the north end of the room. room. The map. To the right. I think it's that NPC, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. But you had questions for me? Yeah. Oh, good question. Is there a, um, Bower of Bounty Site of Grace nearby here? No, should I be getting that? There is apparently a Bower of Bounty Site of Grace. Um, go north to discover, yeah. It's located north of the bow. Oh, never mind. You don't have to go there. It's just having it be a location. Um, well, right now I'm just trying to get up on this bridge. Yeah. Because I need to get up there to talk to the noble gold mask. Yeah, so once you talk to him, then I can tell you the next part of the quest. Okay. I'm going to look around here for a minute. Um, well, I think if you go back to your map, I think to the right there that looks like a path to go up and around okay so you might have to go to that site of grace um and then just take that pathway over got it oh remember this place and then, yeah i do the creeps reminds me weird. of the movie midsummer i was just gonna say that i was just gonna say that you didn't watch that right i never did i feel like we talked about it once in this let's play i never want to watch that it's just really messed up yeah like 
I don't know. To me, movies like Midsummer and Hereditary, they're not scary. They are just depressing. Yeah. Is Midsummer based on, like, the Swedish festival Midsummer? Yes. Okay. Was that actually, like, a gory thing? No. Oh. Midsummer, I think, is like a... It might be like a summer festival. Like, it's it's a happy thing. Where they they literally dance around a big midsummer uh, statuary thing that they build and everything. So it was similar to that, except there was like human sacrifices and stuff. Okay. Going on with it. It was more like a cult version of that, though. Oh. So, I guess it's not the same, but inspired It seems like by... it's based on it. Yeah. So okay. that's interesting. Okay, so now after we talk to him... Um, Which we haven't done yet. Have we informed Brother Corhin of his location? We did. Oh, we did do that? Yeah, is that bad? No, that's that was the next step. So now it's... Uh, okay, so we did inform Brother Corhin of his location. So that guy's just pointing at the Erd tree. After which he will head out to see Gold Mask for himself. Hot. Look at that. Oh, yeah. He's, like, right there, like, outside of the castle, but, like, there. Okay. And there's also a site of grace there that apparently we have to go there. We've got to be pretty close to done with most of the major quest lines. I would hope so. We've done, like, five million. <laughs> but I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Like, no, we've, I know. we've done a lot of quests. At least there's a lot of content. There is a lot of content in this game. I mean, this is certainly a game where I would say you get your money's worth. Yeah. And it's kind of shocking that um, that they put this much into a single-player game. Well, yeah, you never see this type of stuff anymore. It's kind of shocking to me that this is a um, from software game. And what I mean by that is, well, all the Souls games have been, you know, pretty fairly large. Um... They've There's all nothing like this. No, and they've all, and that's always been like the staple of Souls games is that they're large games, but you know you can finish the game in 30, 40 hours. Yeah, but it feels really big. This one is just a huge game. Right. So. Yeah, it's quite a bit. It's um like this. This almost seems like it was had a hand with like Bethesda or something. You yeah, know, except, some other company that loved these huge, massive games. Except that it actually feels more directed than Bethesda, I think. And it, and it actually runs without glitches. Yeah, at least not many. I mean, we just had that one. Yeah. Alright, let's just... Wasn't this guy a boss early on? Probably. I'm pretty sure he was. Probably was. One of them. Okay. Oh, my word. Oh, I'm having a lot of yawning. I was going to say that, um, you know, I, I have, I had this complaint uh, at the beginning that the game felt random. Yeah. I don't really feel that way anymore. I just feel like it's so big that it's so easy to miss stuff. Yes. That it comes off as random because you miss things. Yeah. And I think that that is maybe the unfortunate thing. I, I kind of wish that there was a little bit more of um, something directing you to s stuff, you know? And, like, I, I kind of think people um, were really rude. I don't remember. Somebody had mentioned, like, oh, you know, it's kind of too bad that there's no uh, quest journal or anything. And someone's like, why would there be one? It's a From Software game. The game shouldn't hold your hand. And it's like, okay, well, I get what you're saying, but this is not a typical From Software game. No. So it's like, what's wrong with that idea when the world is this huge. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really see a problem with that. Um, I don't know, that idea, personally. This is, uh, the practice had died out by the age of King Consort Radigan, but remains of the arenas where ritual combat took place can still be found in every hmm. land. That's interesting. And we also got, uh, this cloak thing that I was going to read super quick in the Oh, moment. the Gravekeeper cloak. Yeah, those who once fought for a living were driven from the Colosseum and becoming guardians of Erdtree Burial. I think that's bad grammar. No. This game was designed by George R. R. Martin. He actually... And he's uh, the perfect writer. So I guess since this came out, he said he had very little to do with the with the game. I mean, I always just assume that George R. R. Martin 
maybe just designed a few of the bosses. They, uh, I, th- I guess I was reading online that he more or less said that he came up with what the world would have been like before the tarnished thing broke. Huh. Or before the Elden Ring snapped and stuff. Uh, okay, so you can, like, go into duels. That's cool. I'm glad that they did that. Like, I'm glad that they have a, a duel system in this game for people who want to use it. And that it's not just forced upon you by getting invaded every two minutes. Yeah. That's probably one of my favorite changes about this game. Yeah, the the PvP stuff in Souls has never really been something I've been interested in. However, I'm glad that they exist. Yeah, that's that's exactly how I feel about so, it. It's great for people who love it, happy yeah. for you. Yep. Not my thing. And also... Look, I'm also not great at it, so I'm not going to put off my deaths on, like, the game. Right. But I will say that sometimes the the old games had, like, laggy issues. Yeah. Where if you did get invaded, it would almost be, like, 10 FPS, and then they would just murder you because you can't tell what's going on. Right. Especially in the early ones, like Dark Souls <clears throat> 1, before it was remastered. Yeah, I mean, I... Oh, we have to go up there. Because we're finding Brother Corhin. Yeah, I just... I, we might have to cut through there. I have to look. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've never been into uh, PvP, and the main reason is because, like my problem with games like Street Fighter and stuff like that, I feel like I'm just always battling no lives, and, and that's kind of just annoying to me. Right. So it's like whenever I do PvP, I'm always just getting destroyed by, like, the greatest player ever, and I'm just not really that into it. It's an interesting body. Starfist. Starfists! We're meant to fly! <laughs> what would this be? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a, like a weapon? Maybe. I was checking tools first, but yeah, you might be right. Uh, if we can find the weapons. Sorry. It's not okay. That, that's go. it. There you go. Spherical iron manifer covered in spikes which induce blood loss. Used in brutal games of pugilism. So, huh. this was a warrior tool. You know what pugilism is? Yeah. Okay. It, yeah, I mean, it's basically like the like spike knuckles. Yeah, it was for that, hand-to-hand combat. Yeah, like when the, like the gladiators would use. So, these must be some of the remains of like people who were warriors back when that was accepted. Yeah. And then eventually that way was kind of abandoned. So, let's look here real quick. Well, well, well Brother Corhan is up on this ledge somewhere. Not here, though. Supposedly this is right here. And somehow we never found it. Where Where are we? Way off somewhere else. Okay, just so fast just... travel like somewhere there. Let's fast travel here. Okay, the Grand Lift of Dictus. Actually... Let's do here, and I'll just cross the bridge. Dick dust down. My goodness. I don't think it's nearly as bad to find stuff as it was when we first started, though. Do you? Well, it helps, one, that they added in the NPC uh, locations. I think this game would actually be very badly formatted if they hadn't patched that in. Yes. I think that was a huge mistake that that was not on disc. Yes. Like... How do you how do you not know that that's a useful feature? I don't know. Especially with so many NPCs in the game. That should have just been like a that should have just been a main thing they added. Makes me really mad. I'm glad that their uh, their award got regifted to Bill Clinton instead of them. <laughs> you saw that. Right? I did, yeah. <laughs> what did you think about that? I thought it was kind of funny. What was up with that kid? I have no idea. <laughs> It kind of just got a laugh out of me, and that was it. Did Joey got arrested? Yeah. I don't know if I would have arrested him. I just thought it was kind of funny. Yeah. And that's kind of where it ended. Yeah, it's certainly weird, but... Oh, there's an item. Did you see it? On your left? Right there. Oh. Hold the fang, and what's this? Oh, that's one of those guys. Okay, so this is the one we missed here. Okay. Well, I'm glad that we found it, at least. Ew, turtle neck meat. I hate when people eat turtles. Yeah. It bothers me. I also, I also say when people wear turtlenecks. You do? That bothers me, too. You don't like turtlenecks? No. 
You actually don't like them. No, if you, I think turtlenecks look really dumb. Oh. They only look good on the rock. But you wear a bunch of V-neck shirts. No, I don't. No, you don't. I was just joking. Your brother does. Though. Stop lying. <laughs> sorry, sorry. About my, my attire. Your brother does. He used to a lot. No, he wears like them all the time. Got it. When we hang out without <laughs> when you. When you and your my brother hang out all the time. He's my brother now. <laughs> got it. And I'm like, hey, I got you a turtleneck for Christmas. And he's like, oh my. <laughs> I am so happy at that. That was my impression of him. Got it. I think it was good. That was a really good impression. Into the darkness, you will see. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, where is... Oh, who's that? Who's that? I don't know. Is that him? Oh, Erd Tree, Great Erd Tree, the Golden Order itself, blah, 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 blah. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I think that might have just been a spirit dude. Oh, here he is. Oh, good. So I'm just a moron. Ah, oh, look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the round table hold. I've been doing some learning of my own since then, actually, and will happily pass it along to you. Do... do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the Golden Order and its benevolent rays, and to you too, my sincerest thanks. We can give him a prayer book. Let's do it. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. Should we just buy these? Yeah, let's just get them. Yep. So now... Now that we've done that... He'll move. Now we have to talk to him again. Okay. And then supposedly they will then move. 